Taurus. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 5th to the 11th of June 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So big news with the weekly readings, I'm trying a different layout, um, starting with two Moonology Oracles. The weekly reading, I've gone back to what I used to do in the weekend with the quick fire reading before I started work full time. And um, it's one card per day for the upcoming week. Each of those cards will be clarified and finishing with the Star Temple Oracle. So the like and subscribe button, hopefully you click those down here. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, put this one first because that came out first. Um, full moon in Scorpio, it's time to release negativity. So there might be a bit of a grudge or something that you're hanging on to here because that comes with the new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. So you may also be thinking that it's your hard work you're putting in isn't getting any results. Um, and that may be the negativity there, but it is actually starting to pay off. And it's not an overnight success maybe, but it is starting to pay off. So starting to be able to release something here that's bringing you down because your hard work is actually starting to get results. Okay, so 5th to the 11th of June, 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Taurus. Wow. If your hard work is paying off right here, Ace of Cups. Brand new chapter here when it comes to love. Maybe an existing relationship, a pregnancy, a birth, a marriage proposal, moving in together, maybe meeting somebody brand new, it may be a job you love, it may be a home you love, but ultimately, overall, your hard work is paying off and this whole new chapter, let this begin. Love that. Monday the Fall, or somebody may be taking a leap of faith towards this new chapter when it comes to love. Whether that's you, whether that's them, I'm a Pisces, I love love, so I'm coming back to love love, but um, somebody is ready to take a leap of faith here. This is also maybe releasing that negativity. Your hard work is paying off and it's just that final step, that final chance, that final risk that you're about to take here to get the results that work in your favour. Tuesday, it does still continue to bring in this hard working attitude. Um, it's like two steps forward, one step back, but this is about the hard work. Every time you sort something out, seven more things may pop out of place that need taken care of. But you've got that hard working attitude and um, that is still being put in to get this chapter, this one, <laughs> on the move. Wednesday, Taurus, Seven of Swords, deceptive energy, gossip, backstabbing, it's saying to watch your back, there may be a bit of jealousy involved with this um, new chapter that's beginning here, but ultimately you are walking away from this with your head held high, you're not letting that hold you back, and that may be that negativity, finally it is able to be released and left back there in the past. Thursday, brilliant, the Emperor, may have connection to an Aries, divine masculine energy, very brave, very confident, very level-headed and logical, nothing is phasing you, I feel like that negativity is released and um, now nothing is holding you back and this hard work is starting to bring you these results of not letting anything or anyone hold you back. Friday, Four of Wands, stability, commitment, maybe commitment around love, maybe stability around buying a home or getting a job, around home and family life, things are very steady, things are falling into place, that hard work is paying off and those results are happening, love that. <coughs> um, Saturday, Six of Cups, 
fond memories. This is Six of Cups is the past. This may be fond memories, butterfly in your tummy's feeling. Um, this may be not so fond memories of a hell no, we're not going back into that situation again. So, you know, back to that negativity, not wanting to go back through that kind of repeat cycle there. Um, fond memories, stability, commitment. Said buying a home, maybe in the hometown you once lived in. A job, maybe one that you previously worked in. Around love, it could be a reconciliation around love that's bringing this new chapter in. And you finish on Sunday with the Four of Cups. Now I'm going to say stubbornly stuck on one particular cup here and possibly this new cup, this Ace of Cups. But um, this is still saying to shift that focus around. Still look at what else is on offer around you. It doesn't mean you have to take them, but they are worth looking at some other offers here. But in saying that, it may also be that you're just focused on releasing this negativity here and you are focused on getting the achievements out of this hard work that you're putting in to get to your result. Wow. Okay, so Taurus, let's clarify everything, starting with the Ace of Cups overall for the week. Princess of Wands, Princess of Swords, the Magician. Wow, you've been manifesting this new beginning, I feel, for quite a while, putting the plans into place, creating the magic, crossing the T's and dotting the I's to get a result that's favorable to you. Manifesting this, bring it on. You're well and truly ready for this new chapter. Very giving, um, willing to share your ideas here when it comes to love. And you have been in the background getting this to work. Monday, the fall. Love this. Princess of Cups, look at all the princesses. The Moon, Eight of Cups. May have connection to a Pisces here. Um, as I said, the Sleep of Faith may be coming with an offer of love. And when things are a bit darker and grayer, there may be some sort of emotional attachment that seems to be holding you back. Feel like it comes around this Wednesday um, deceptive energy that you are able to walk away from. You're starting to see clearly what it is, who it is, where it is that has been holding you back from being able to take that leap of faith and moving forward. And this is that whole negativity that's able to be released and that moon is able to give you all the clarity you need to um, know what to release and also the clarity to see where the sleep of faith may take you. Tuesday, Seven of Pentacles. Wow, boom, double dose. I love it when that happens. Seven of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles. The Hierophant, Seven of Swords. And the balance, the two sevens either side here. And I love it when it comes to balance as well. But the hard work that you are putting in, it goes into the Seven of Swords. So this is a lot of hard work that you are putting in to be able to walk away from some sort of emotional attachment, some sort of gossip and backstabbing that's been quite hurtful feel like some interference has been happening here, some meddling, some peer pressure trying to be put on you to do things a certain way that isn't agreeable to you. And this is where you're following your beliefs. You're walking away from what it is, who it is, where it is that is holding you back. May have connection to another Taurus there, but the hard work is being put in to get things moving forward in a direction that's suitable to you. Wow. So Seven of Swords here, Wednesday, Taurus. No, Seven of Swords here, Taurus, for Wednesday. The Lovers, Three of Swords, Four of Cups. This may all be around love, third party interference, somebody telling you that you cannot be with this person, yet that's somebody significant, soulmate, twin flame, um, may have connection to a Gemini, and it's taking a lot of your focus to be able to deal with this interference, to deal with the meddling that's involved here, to deal with the negativity that is coming in here. And um, feel like, as I said, love i love love <laughs> um i feel like this love is here to help work through this heartbreak to work through this deceptive energy and is actually by your side on this journey whether you know it yet or not into thursday taurus the emperor 
Queen of Wands, Three of Cups, Ace of Swords. Love that because getting control of the situation, clearing the crap out from the past, which I feel there is a bit of crap that needs clearing out, I'm going to say, but being able to have this whole fresh new start. There's confidence here, there's determination to go after your dreams and your goals, what you want, who you want, where you want to be. That hard work is starting to pay off and being able to have this fresh new start, this new chapter, especially overall Ace of Cups as well. You're in control of the situation and you are celebrating being able to get this new chapter off the ground. Love that. Into Friday, stability, commitments around home and family life. Eight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Judgment. This love will not go away. <laughs> I say love conquers all. But um, confident, the two of you do make a good team. It may be somebody new. I say don't judge others. Don't let others judge you. It works both ways. You may be looking at somebody in quite a different light, thinking, oh, now I didn't know that. And it's like, that's quite favourable. Um, but also keep an open mind. There's detours along the way. Along any journey, there's detours. And this is about finding those other ways, legally and morally, to overcome all the roadblocks that do get put in front of you. And that is part of this whole energy of clearing the crap out, as I mentioned, and having this fresh new start. And it's taking love here to conquer all. Wow, Taurus, Six of Cups. And as I said, it may be a reconciliation. It may be a hell no, we're not going back there. And this may be somebody new. But Six of Cups on Saturday. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the Devil. Wow. Okay, so this may be a hell no, we're not going back there. Back to this negative, toxic energy, unhealthy energy that you felt chained and shackled to almost like the ball and chain they call it, don't they? But a painful cycle that you've been through coming to a close. Things are starting to balance out and I feel like it is love and it is this partnership, more equal give and take rather than someone doing all the giving, someone else doing all the taking. This is now bringing an end to a painful cycle from the past that you have been stuck and bound to may have connection to a Capricorn, but things are definitely now starting to be more balanced. That hard work is now starting to pay off. Holy moly, Taurus. And you finish with the Four of Cups on Sunday. Knight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the World. Holy moly again. I'm just going to say, holy shit, look. Wheel of Fortune and the World. Bigger and better things. Good luck, good fortune. Hopefully that's for all of you. Don't go rushing into things. Here's my lecture starting again. Um, oh, divine timing. There's been some tough life lessons that you've had to deal with and learn from, but there's also divine timing and now the moment is right to get this new chapter off the ground when it comes to love. And um, this is all about getting this wheel of fortune, getting some momentum and letting that world cover you, have your back. Let that hard work pay off big time with that Wheel of Fortune there. Oh, so Taurus. So let's see what the universe says. Justice. Love it. Princess of Cups, Nine of Swords. Sweet justice. Look at it. That hard work's paying off. Look at your sweet justice. That wheel of fortune. May have connection to a Libra. Good karma, good result, a favourable outcome for the hard work that you have put in to get here. But the hard work that you have put in to get some sort of new chapter underway and to be able to release that negativity that has been holding you back. And I'm now coming around that that negativity has actually been coming from somebody else. Um, with that Hierophant peer pressure, that third party energy and interference and things like that. And um, you've come out of this with your sweet justice. Releasing the stress, the sleepless nights, the overthinking of things, the offer of love will not go away. Um, always say, maybe a child, it may be a pet, it may be somebody significant with an age gap possibly here with the Princess of Cups, but ultimately you come out of this with your sweet justice. So Taurus, let's finish with Star Temple Oracle. Wow. 
one card please. Yet number 31, the star mother loved. There's love throughout this reading. I said love conquers all. <laughs> the universal mother loves and supports me totally. Brilliant. Love that. Love, love. Next chapter. Star words, cherished, nurtured, purpose. The star mother has shown up because you may be feeling a little lost and alone at present. Asteropia wants you to know that you are a precious star child of the cosmos and that you are loved and supported always. As a star child, you have a dual assignment here on earth both a personal and a collective mission to accelerate the vibration of the planet. You may be called to a higher purpose that is ecological, philanthropic or unifying. The Universal Mother is here to guide, comfort and chaperone you as you embrace your divine purpose. Loved. So Taurus, that is what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.